Well, I just answered a request from uh, one of the members of Let's Go Help. This is where I help people get free money and help them do anything. Uh, and I want to share you this request because a lot of people do this. A lot of people now want to start nonprofit organizations to try to you know, fix up things in our neighborhood because <laughs> we are all screwed up. We all need a lot of help you know, in the neighborhood. Uh, so that's one way to do it. And, and she writes, or, or he, I'm not really sure, uh, is that, hey, greetings. I'm trying to start a nonprofit business in the city of Norfolk, okay? After calling 211, and that's a good place to start because that's a place where uh, actually they help you find nonprofits to solve problems, yep. Uh, so after calling 211 and being referred to various agencies, I was told that the IRS for information and then register for the commission of revenue for the property tax but I feel like that was not given the right information. <laughs> can you help me? Yes, I can help you. Here's the biggest problem, is you're thinking about starting an, uh, a nonprofit. And this is what all the professionals do. They tell you, go become a nonprofit. No, don't. That's the last thing you want to do. You're going to waste so much time and money <laughs> becoming a nonprofit before you know exactly what the hell you're going to do. Yeah. So don't do that. And you may not even have to be a nonprofit. You know, the most important thing about your nonprofit succeeding is where you're going to get the money. It's not whether you're you know, non registered in a nonprofit or not. That's later. Yeah, you, know, you can do that anytime. But your critical success factor of you succeeding in that nonprofit is can you get the money? And is your idea the right thing to do? That's what you have to do. Okay, so what I do is I center up. Uh, a report. Now, these are the 10 best places uh, to get money for any nonprofit. And it's videos, instructions, and everything, and uh, websites to go to to start investigating. And really, you have to find out. And there's local, like that. Your local uh, community development block grant has all kinds of money <laughs> to, to, to uh, uh, help people who want to solve problems in the community. <laughs> My wife is sitting across a table for me right now. <laughs> Filling out an application for her nonprofit, yeah? <laughs> and that's just one of the sources. Um, there's special, you know, marketing money you could get, like from Google, at ten thousand dollars a month, free marketing money to advertise your nonprofit. See all these things. But the other thing I think we must do is think through your idea. You know, to see what's the best thing to do. And local people will know. Like that 211 uh, number, you could call there and say, maybe you want to help children after school or seniors or veterans or whatever. Go to that 211 and find nonprofits that are helping veterans or children, who, whoever you want to help now, and find out. Talk to them first to see where they're getting money or what their problems are solving. You know, maybe your idea has already been, you know, a, a thousand times out there and they don't need it again. That's the kind of thing you have to do. And then go through this report and find out all the 10 places to see, okay, now, hey, uh, how can you help me with this nonprofit? See, don't go and say, hey, well, I want money. Can you give me money? No, don't do that. No. Because then you're, you're just a hit and run artist, you know, drive by shooting, you know, uh, give me money in the box. No. no, you're looking for help of people in your community that want to help you help the community. So don't say you're interested in money. Hey, can you help me with this idea? I'm not sure where to go to get help. Okay. Now, you see, the people that uh, are in these 10 places are people who are there to do that. They may or may not be able to write you checks, but they can tell you exactly who does write a check for that. So that's the kind of help you need. Don't go just running off and become a, you know, spending thousands of dollars and becoming a nonprofit, because it may not have to be a nonprofit. They give money to people that are not nonprofits to solve those problems too. So don't do that. It's sort of, to me, like getting a prom dress before you're invited to the prom. So first get that invitation to the prom. And don't waste all this money, you know, uh, figuring out, you know, giving the accountants and lawyers and all this kind of stuff. No, go out and find, is this idea good for your community? And you talk to other people in the community. Find out where the most likely place for you to get money. And I give you the 10 working places right here to find out about that stuff. And you start doing that because you're going to have to do that anyway. So why spend the money first? You do that first. And then see if it's viable or whatever. And then if you have to become a nonprofit, you can do that anytime. It's always easy to spend money.
<laughs> their pleasures will probably take it from you. But it's hard to figure out what the hell is better now. And if you should do it at all. So that's what I think is the key. And we waste too much time following uh, you know, ideas and everything by professionals who make money <laughs> out of that. You know? And so now the most important thing is that you're helping somebody. So that's what you have to find out. You know, are those people there? Are they being helped now? And what is the right thing you know, to develop to help 